Hey guys, in this video we're going to look on how we can add a joystick in our game. So we have going to create a basic movement joystick that's going to control the movement and rotation part of the player. At this stage, I'll, I made a tutorial on this a long time ago, one, two or two years ago, but that matters using an old input system and it sucks also. So we're going to be using new input system for this purpose and this is really easy to set up. You can see here and it's quite less code of line of code. To okay, first thing, go to the Windows Packet Manager. Inside the packet manager, search for input and now the input packet system manager. Then close it up, go back to edit, edit, go to settings in player, go to the other settings, go down here, and in the active input handling, just select the input system package new. After this, you have done with the setting with setting up your inputs manager. Then you need some joysticks for in order to control the player on the screen. So for this joystick, I'm going to use the Kenny assets on screen pack so you can download and import it here and after this I was going to have a joystick canvas which has some default settings in it and then in this joystick I'm going to have a handle this handle has the joystick you can see it here now in order to make the joystick act like a joystick you need to add a glue component and go to search for on screen stick and here we need to give a control path we're going to use a gamepad since uh, Mobile inputs and the gamepad inputs are a little similar and we're going to the left stick here And this I don't know why we choose left stick here because I don't I don't have a gamepad So I don't know which control we use for the movement in the when you playing with the gamepad So this uh, by default select the left stick here You can choose with any stick you can go on right stick you can go with right stick if you want and if you think left stick you can go with left stick after going this, we need to just connect this input to this player input. So for this, we need to create an action map. So we're going to need to uh, save app and going to add a component. You can search for the player uh, inputs. Here it is asking for the action one. Just click. You can create your own action map or just click on the create action. It's going to create action somewhere in the project. So let's name it player action and save it. Now you can look, we got a set uh, action. I already set up some action here. You can look here. Let's uh, drag and drown here. Now in this action map, you need to first have a move. And it, at action time, you can give a value or pass through. I don't think so they have too much difference, but I prefer the value here. And the control type vector 2 since uh, movement going to be in vector 2. And to vector 2, we're going to give our left stick gamepad as a binding. You can look and in the gamepad you can see left stick uh, has a gamepad to me so this gamepad and here the settings are both same okay so basically this uh, are the by default get with the unity by default action map when you type the play action map as it is so you get this default one but, uh, but if you don't have get the default one you can just create a move and just add a left stick these three are useless for now just let's delete them Delete, delete, and delete. I was going to delete this look and fire one. We don't need it. So we need a move and left stick right now. After doing this, we have set up the player inputs here. Now let's start with the player. In order to attach the inputs to them, we need to go to our player. And if you look, we have a spire renderer, polygon collider, and rigid body for the basic movements. And also, I have a two script called input manager and movement. So I want to separate the inputs and the movement script. Uh, differently so I can take the input on the different scripts and I uh, handle the input from the different script let's move up for give it here okay now close it so in this input manager uh, you I you can do things in the same script but I prefer two different scripts for this stuff so let's open the input manager script in the first line you need to take the input system as using input engine dot input system as the first line then you need to create a public vector to a move input we're going to access this vector 2 from outside screen for a different purpose like for movements and then in order to get the uh, input from this action we have a bunch of different methods but the most easiest and preferable I can tell you is to use this frame you can create a public void a function as it is and then type on and this give the name of your action make sure the name of action just exactly the same is here so on and then your name of the action okay then you need to give a parameters input values and inputs and down here we're going to give an input is equal to input dot get equal to vector 2 now this is line is cool but i prefer, don't prefer this way thing because it's 
take three lines of course and if you wanted to show off with your friends i don't really recommend this so instead of using this method i'm going to just remove this and going to tell you much better we're going to use this method this line of code this line did the same thing as previous one did but it's uh, more cleaner and just give you tasks in a one line so i prefer you this name so what you can take is just going to do the same thing first we just remove the curly brackets and put the things here just with a sort of hand of creating a function if you have one line of code so this uh, just this thing this uh just simple just telling the ones a uh, lambda function just telling the this is the one line of code now after taking the inputs we got some inputs here so you can play the game and try to run it and as soon as i move the player you can see my values on this x is going to change it's going to change okay now let's use this move input to move our player so now in order to move it we go to the moment scripts and we need some variables so first thing uh, we need the input major and a rigid body okay when we get to these bodies we need to make sure we access them from the you know wave method we're going to get a get component input major since we are in the same these two objects exist in the same or uh, game object we can use it simply use a get component get component after the getting the those tools we make sure we have a um, speed and a vector tool for storing our directions and speed for the speed purpose and also the boolean that check whether it is moving or not so we keep this thing in our minds and we go move the wide update in the wide update we first uh, extract the inputs from here and going to plug this moments you can see we're going to take input move inputs and normalize it this is why we normalizing it because it's going to return some values that are not in the magnitude of one so if we go in diagonal so properly the magnitude diagonal value is going to be uh, greater than one so make sure that all the direction will be in the magnitude of a one after we get the direction after we get to extract the move in the inputs and put inside the move direction we may tell also tell is moving or not so i'm going to using a system class name system main space of here and i'm going to extract a one function take one function dot is convert to boolean now it has some magnitude it's going to return true and if it's zero then it's going to return false so we're going to get things like it so if it's zero is going to moving going to be false and it's greater than zero or else than zero like negative or positive anything is going to return true now in order to move it we're going to voice fix at this since we are using a rigid body for movements we're going to use a fixed update first thing we need to check whether we get rb correctly if we not check this it may be return real error so this is good thing to check beforehand after that we're going to use rb or move position and we're going to uh, take the move direction but before that we're going to add the rb or position if you not do this it's going to be as soon as you move as you leave the joystick it's going to return back to the origin which we don't want we need to just increase the position of the this body so move rb dot position plus move direction and multiply by speed and time dot fixed delta time and after that you players started moving up now if i try to play it and if i try to move the joysticks nothing happens and if it is there's one problem here and if it if in your case it moves but it moves lag or like a jagging a bit so here's the one simple trick to in order to fix it basically i just delete the, all the other inputs of the keyboard mouse to the joystick xr and that's why i think it's not working so here you can do you can go to all control scheme and delete all the controls scheme that unity provide you by default so let's delete the xr one just say xr and delete the control scheme and it's asking for delete and yes Now we have only a game pack control scheme here. So now it should work here. So let's play the game and test it. Now if you look, uh, my player started moving up. Let's now look on the rotation part we have you not know, rotate. And we're also going to look on how we can stop the rotation. So on the last, so it does not go return back to its original position. Like it, I did my previous video. Uh, if you remember like two, two, uh, one or two years ago, I just do the same thing. But the problem is that uh, rotation is not keeping up so we can also look how we can just pause the rotation as, as we left the joystick so let's back to the movement script and open up the movement scene 
so whenever you working on a new feature just uh, it's a good, great idea to extract feature down here so it look very clean so first thing we need in order to stop the rotation let's start by looking how we can fix that problem we have rotation we need to use the z axis in order to rotate the in order to rotate the player so we need to just somehow get the angles and just rotate it according to it z axis and that's not a very difficult part to do it we just use uh put it create some directions and take using an hand function to get the angle the problem is that how we can just stop the rotation now i only wanted to rotate the player when his joystick is moving as soon as i leave the joystick my players start stop rotating just leave it as it is so in order to do it we need to first check whether in the wire based look in the rotation function we need to first check is moving or not and remember that it's moving is just a uh, boolean uh, so just converting magnitude one if it's moving so it's going to true some has some magnitude so it's moving is true and if it's not then it's false so it's as soon as move more it's got some values it become true and if it become true then is this part going to become as true and this condition going to be executed so we're going to take some decks we have already have some direction that has a move direction so we just need to plug here so we have float angle this is a temporary variable you can see and I'm going to use the math half to add in two functions this is going to calculate the angle between the uh, vectors you can see not vectors just uh, in the real life it has x axis and it's going to take how much degrees just um, vector is rotated from the x axis you can see but in the unity your Cartesian system is messed up so zero degree is upward but in real life zero degrees on the x axis so we're going to give the x first or y uh, y later but here i give the y first and x later and simply subtracted the by 90f now since this function returns things in the radians we also need to convert it to, uh, to degrees so we first do calculate the angle this is going to be angle radians we use math half dot radian to degree but and at last we're going to subtract it by 90f so this whole function return the things in degree and that's and that why we can also multiply by some values like number values so if you don't want to put a 90f you just uh, strap this value and thing is going to be the same in case of wrong rotation you can always plus minus the values now after we get the angle we're going to just plug this angle some in the transfer rotation now remember you cannot directly just change the rotation like you can't do like something like dot z is equal to some values you some values you gave it you can't do it because it's a attribute and this is a read only variable so you can't do this something like this so instead of doing we're going to use the continuance so transfer to continuous is equal to continuous dot elo so going to be with some we plug some angle so it's going to take the rotation x y and z since we are in 2d we're going to give the plug the rotation in z now after doing this we are going to be ready for the rotation purpose now if you play this game after doing all this work it's going to work and I can move, rotate and just move anywhere you can just spread to make it faster and smaller you can look, uh, my rotation also leave as soon as you leave the joystick my rotation left 